I'll switch on the recording, guys. Thank you. Great question. Okay, so let's go back to where we left the prior week. Uh, and can we quickly start contributing on what we remember from the prior week? Please come back. Hare Krishna. Anybody? Uh, what did we talk about? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Oh, oh yes. there are some people there. Hare Krishna. Okay. So, uh, uh, the kings, they watch the praja to see if everything is right. And Rama could see that the sages, they seem to be talking about Lord Rama. And uh, something has changed their perspective. And uh, he uh, wanted to ask them. So, he asked have we done something? Has Sita done something? So they said, how can Mother Sita do something? She possesses uh, all auspiciousness, all auspicious characteristics. Uh, so they said that it's because the Rakshasas uh, have been creating disturbances. Uh, they are worried about these disturbances now because they weren't there before. And Lord Rama is attracting the attention of many demons uh, because of which they are coming and she, I think the name was uh, Khara, if I'm not wrong, that demon. Uh, you're right, you're right. Khara. Yeah, he, yeah, he's attracting the attention of these demons and these sages have done years of tapasya and therefore they were planning to move to Ashramani's ashrama. Okay, hold, hold, hold. Thank you so much. That was a, it was a nice flow. Um, I, I know you've been you generally make notes and stuff like that. Apart from the fact that you, you know, attentively listening to it, thank you. It's a, it's a, it's a pleasure uh, hearing uh, such a good uh, flow of the lecture being given. Thank you. Anybody else? What happened after that? What happened after that? So then. Rama basically uh, doesn't want to pursue it, the rishis. Uh, he does seem to uh, uh, request them, uh, but then there are some sages, specifically the weak ones who are getting affected by that. So the Kulapati and the others feel that, you know, they, they've always been together as a, as a team and some of them are getting very disturbed. They're not able to handle it. Uh, and another unstated fact which will come out today is also the fact that first Rama came there, everything was silent and happy. They still remained the rishis of Chitrakuta. Rama joined them in exactly the same spirit and lifestyle. But then arrived Bharata and his entire army and all the ladies and the half things, half Ayodhya, everything landed up here. So we're going to see what happened. Right. So they, they had concerns. And were their concerns valid? Were the Rishi's concerns valid? Yes, of course. Because immediately after there's going to be huge carnage that we're going to see after this that's going to be happening. So we will we will get to see uh, some of that there. Any other comments from the prior week that we took uh, uh, with us? Any thoughts, learnings? Anybody? Any of the elders? Okay, thank you so much, Hare Krishna. We move on to the day's uh, uh, segment. It's going to be a quick one, I suppose. So if we finish quickly, uh, we'll finish quickly. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Today, they're going to hear a lot uh, of, um, you know, uh, Two ladies having a kitty party uh, kind of discussion there today and the next week we're going to be seeing that um, what's that all about let's see uh, so when the ascetics had departed then rama 
also felt uh, very dissatisfied being there because the sadhus, if you see earlier when Bharata had come, there were descriptions of how sadhus were like, there were hundreds of them on the banks of the river. They were all performing their, their uh, uh, morning sandhya and all that beautiful description of how beautiful that place was, the forests that were teeming with wild animals. Uh, and, 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 and that whole scenario was so pristine, beautiful. Um, and what has happened here is suddenly, as I mentioned earlier, the entire army and everybody in the center of that space. So uh, what would happen? Well, you need to understand when there are thousands of elephants, then the place will be smelling of elephant dung for the next few days. And the horses are more fragrant in their contribution. The humans are even more fragrant than them. <laughs> so you can understand what has happened there. Uh, that was one part of it. But more than, than just the, uh, the effect on the Indriyas uh, was the fact that they had disturbed the peace and the tranquility of the place. But they also, some of these external things also disturbed the internal peace and tranquility. And here Rama is talking about the fact. Uh, and he says, Sacha be smritir anveti tan nityam anusochataha Sacha be smritir anveti he says, hey, listen, what has happened is Bharata came here. My mothers came here. Half, this, half the citizens came here. I'm supposed to spend 14 years in this forest. I and mean, I can't afford to be thinking of all of these things. But what has resulted is this visit has resulted that they are, they, you know, uh, every time I look at the space where Bharata fell uh, there, I look at the space where the mothers were standing. This is the same thought that seems to be flooding me again and again. Uh, so I, I really don't want to. Uh, my memory of having seen Bharata, my mothers and the citizens uh, here follows me, yes, constantly. This word, anveti, in, in the Vivaha Samskara, the word anvetu uh, is being used. That may you follow anveti. Is, so this thought is constantly pursuing me. It's not letting go of me. I'm not able to forget these people. So can we have a change of pace? <laughs> no. So many times uh, people uh, opt for something like that. That's why people want to go for a holiday to some space. They want to change. They want to change their screen, uh, their, their background. So uh, Rama is also suggesting that. And then he says, because of the encampment of the army of the great soul Bharata, as well as the stool of the horses and the elephants, the place has become greatly contaminated. So in that situation, let us go elsewhere, Raghava told, and then departed with Vaidehi and Bhakshman. Then, where did they go? So, Atrer Ashramam Asadhyatam Vabandha Mahayashaha So, Atrer Ashramam Asadhya, they came, they arrived at, and Tam Bhavanda Bhayashaha, they came and offered respects to that most glorious, famous, well known Atri Rushi. And how is Atri being referred to? He is being referred to as Bhagavan Atrihi. Yes, sometimes we have a little hitch, jichak, with regard to addressing anybody else as Bhagavan. Yes. But Bhagavan basically represents that one who has great qualities is Bhagavan. Therefore, many, many rishis, uh, many great, uh, many times, Narada is being referred to as Bhagavan. Uh, there are times when Brahma is being referred to as Bhagavan. There are. Who is it most befitting? Uh, that's what our Acharya is trying to tell us. That Bhagavan, if there is one Samagrascha, Aishwaryacha Samagrascha, uh, then that is Krishna. Uh, but the term is used and we should get a deja when we see that term being used. So Bhagavan Atrihi Putravat Pratipadyata. What did he do? He received Rama as if he was his son. Now you need to see here is a very old elderly sadhu 
and his wife uh, who are there. And they are receiving Rama. Such young people never turn up in the forest. So, and, and what fantastic young people suddenly turned up in their ashram. So Atri and Anasuya come out there and receive them. Uh, the, despite his age, Swayam, ah, Atityam, he came, Swayam, Atri Rishi, the, despite the fact that his whole body is shaking, is, you know, but he is doing the Atiti Samskara himself to Rama. Swayam, ah, Atityam, Adishya, Sarvam, Asya, Susat Kritam, Sarvam, all of the uh, the respects that are due to an Atiti, Susat Kritam, he very beautifully performed. When we perform Arti to the natives, we need to understand what are we doing. Actually, this is like receiving a guest. Yes, Argyam, Padyam, uh, all of these offerings uh, are very, very resonant with the same. So here you can imagine, instead of our doing Arti for natives, uh, here, Atri and Anasuya get the opportunity to actually do that whole reception uh, and, and all of that uh, respect, show all of that respect to Rama, Sita and Lakshmana directly themselves. So that's a very beautiful thing. Then Atri was a great personality who is very, very well known for his knowledge of Dharma. Uh, and he was always engaged in the welfare of all the creatures. Now, So Atri is telling, hey, sinless Rama, this Anasuya who engages in terrible penances, who is decorated by voluntary restrictions is as worshipable as you are. When the world was burning in the drought for 10 years, she continuously created roots and fruits and caused Ganga to flow. She performed great austerities for 10,000 years. She became immersed herself in the vows, such as the difficult Chandrayana vow, and removed the obstacles uh, to the performance of her austerities. Upon the urgent request of the Devatas, she converted 10 nights into one. That's an interesting two, three facts. Let's get to it. By <laughs> terrible penances decorated by voluntary restriction, tapasya. So, the world was burning in drought for 10 years and she continuously created roots and fruits and caused Ganga to flow. Water, Umi and plants. These are, these are together. They are always, they are a team. One encourages the other. Where there are enough trees, there is automatically going to be evaporation and there will be clouds form, say, uh, forming there naturally and therefore they will get rains. So if you see th th this kind of science, uh, there are a lot of people uh, who are basically working on water conservation. Okay, let me give you today a little snippet on what used to be India's water conservation capabilities. Bit of an aside, but we'll come back to the main theme. Our forefathers knew about water conservation big scale. And therefore, if you see, there are so many videos now circulating to show about how uh, countries like Britain just looted the natural resources for a place like India. You may think, oh, Europe is so interesting. So special. But you know the speciality of Europe? Is the fact that it's so damn cold, nobody wants to survive there. It's so cold, there's not even three, four good months where you can actually cultivate it. And therefore, if you see, in entire Europe, they had to work on how they basically preserve, dry, conserve, pickle uh, uh, vegetables and fruits that they will constantly store away so that they will be able to use it in the hard times. Uh, the very convenient things that grow are things like potato and others. Look at the beauty of the Indian subcontinent or, or the uh, South Asian zones. The beauty of these zones 
is the fact that there is some abundant sun through the year and the winter is never harsh enough that there is nothing that grows whether it is summer or winter there are different things that keep growing constantly with that kind of a background you can grow things all through the year which means soil is constantly producing and our people knew how beautifully to engage the cow cows when they were to use that uh, in the soil and and produce abundant food there's a vedic edict which says annam bahu kurbita this is an instruction from the vedas oh self sufficiency just produce only for yourself well i don't know it's good to theorize in that direction but uh, the encouragement for the vaishya is that he should produce more there should be huge quantities he produce he is always encouraged by the king so we see that in drama we see that in drama and all over um uh, drama when bharata is coming in asking are are the traders doing well are the vaishya happy are their trade routes being routes being secured the rishi the, the, the raja rishi were always concerned why because when the vaishya is strong the whole economy is strong when the vaishya is strong the country is strong when the vaishya is strong the people are happy rama is asking are the utsavas all the festivals and celebrations all the late night parties are they happening yes it's a fact we need to be the samriddhi yeah uh, need to be needs to be there it is it's very 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 important we are not here to just survive and just sustain we should flourish and that's a very very important point that comes out so for that sake our people really knew how the water is the very root of that uh, that, that that flourishing culture so uh, they had so many ways and recently i have seen a, a, a small uh, video which talked about what they did recently in, in rajasthan to bring back uh, uh, some areas where some rivers had gone dry and what did they do uh, it's a it's a indian water conservation organization uh, they built bow shape what is the shape of a bow yeah where you hold the central part where you hold the bow in the two parts of it which go down this way so traditionally from parashara krishi sukta and various others you will see that this bow shaped structure was drawn to build a dam so our people were constructing dams before not only that there are clear records to say that ganga and yamuna had been dredged regularly so we say oh caste system is that but half the funny guys who never read anything don't ever understand that the whole ganga yamuna uh, 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 waterway used to be dredged regularly by families so who maintains those families the whole system the varnashrama system so who knows what to do yes it's only those people who know it's only those families who know so they will say okay every two years three years the water is the the, the sand is uh, there's too much silt it needs to be desilted otherwise it it's, it's not going to flow properly so let's maintain it all these things went to dust when the mughals came first but finally when the british came death knell to all of this now why am i talking about this in a similar manner some people were doing a study on how india had so much water what was the water conservation capabilities that we had uh, it's not that water was just left to flow every nook and corner had in tamil what you call kuttai kulam talab there were so many lakes and ponds and there were temples where which always had those huge water bodies that were uh, maintained all of these were not simply natures these used to be dredged also people will have to come every few years every family will have to contribute one member of his family will come and work on this dredging job so the people who were in the uh, belong to those families had that knowledge paramparagata their forefathers knew so in this village if water is going to flow or water is going to flood in this area where you have to dig to let it out why is it flooding here because that pond has not been silted go ahead let's go ahead and desilt that pond now who knows anything about it nobody knows anything so these were the great advantages of varnashrama that was there so water conservation was a major thing so recently what they did 
by constructing this bow shaped uh, uh, dams they have bought back water to some of the most uh, uh, desertified zones at this point in time so here just just here what is you you are talking about here that 10 years of drought she continuously created roots and fruits and caused the ganga to flow does it ring a bell yes or no anybody have ever ever heard of water conservation in our traditional systems any comments in this connection from anybody Let me tell you one. Yeah. yeah, it's more of what we read on WhatsApp or Facebook, you know, about the water conservation system and all that. Yeah, and 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 then you you have that one old lady who planted uh, who received Bharat Ratna or something recently. Thanks yeah. to the Modi government recognizing such people, and she planted what some thirty thousand trees or something like that. One yeah. one woman yeah. single handedly. These are great yeah. people, and and here is somebody. Not doing physically going there, thinking and doing, but by her tapobala, by her strength, she she was able to sustain. Uh, what is this? Uh, created roots and fruits not only for themselves, yes, for the flora and fauna that is there. As she she's been able to do this, she performed great austerities for thousands of years. She became immersed in vows uh, that are difficult. Okay, sorry, just one last point. When Bharata comes to Rama. Rama is asking, I hope our farmers are not doing agriculture based on the rain, rain-fed agriculture. Which means, I hope as a king, you are making arrangements for that. I saw one more message recently. I saw this on Facebook. There was a king. He was the king uh, of uh, one segment in Rajasthan. And he was very, very active in the Indian uh, independence uh, and, and all of that stuff. So what he did, he wanted to bring a river uh, by digging a channel because his, the people in his country, in, in his, earlier his country within Rajasthan, uh, his kingdom. In that kingdom, they, there was a big drought and, and everything had gone dry. So his people were suffering for years. So he didn't know what to do. So he went on a rampage. He worked for 10 years to bring that water from that space to here. And then he kept campaigning with that with the British and then finally with the Indian government and he got it done for his people. This is the mood of the kings uh, that they want to provide for their people. And uh, so we see this evidently in Rama and Bharata when Rama is asking these questions. Are, are the Vaishyas happy? Are the farmers happy with what is being cultivated? Are they doing, uh, are they not only dependent on rain for their existing, which means uh, waterways uh, and ponds and all these have to be maintained. So, so much for, uh, uh, you know, what, uh, how we can live and sustain with nature. Yes, that's a very, very important point. Coming back on, she became immersed and uh, herself in vows such as difficult Chandrayana. Now, actually, Chandrayana, they're saying it's difficult, but I think it's, it's quite easy to follow. How many of you want to follow Chandrayana? Uh, we'll we'll start. All of us will start following each other. Anybody here? Any takers? My wife's putting her hand up, the smile. But, uh, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. I'll tell you how Chandrayana has followed. Anyway, so she followed all these great austerities, and upon the urgent request of the devata, she converted ten nights into one night. Well, I, I'm missing uh, my partner so much. It's 10 more days for me to wait. Oh, no, don't worry. I'll wait 10 nights upon one night. Oh, who can ever do that? Where will this ever happen? Valentine's Day, so the example is like that. Uh, what is the Chandra? How is it followed? Hey, that's what I'm getting. So, oh, somebody's really interested. Who asked that question? I'm, now I'm very interested in knowing who's that brave person who's asking this question. Details on Chandrayana. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to put the person on the spot. The lady's husband. Okay. Anasuya had a friend. 
she was another sadhvi but then her husband what became attracted to a prostitute she saw that you know this is disturbing him but she was so devoted to him so attached to him uh, though he was frail it looks like she actually carried him to take him to that place so when he, she was being carried when she was carrying him she came across mandavya rishi the famous mandavya who later became vidura yes so mandavya rishi was placed in a lance by the king so when she was carrying him it looks like agnana vasha uh, not that he was under control but when she was carrying when they were going her husband just touched upon mandavya and mandavya was in great pain he cursed him mandavya told him that you will die in 10 days you will only survive 10 nights but this lady by the kind of chastity and the austerity that she had performed how well she was following her stri dharma by her power she said may the ten may this night never set may the sun never rise so it never happened now every morning when everybody wake up they they wake wakes up they start doing their sandhya they offer jala to all the devatas and they do perform all their uh, uh, rituals they do their sacrifices nobody got anything so all the devas said <laughs> now we are little hungry what's happening hey brahma can you help us we are in a very difficult situation brahma said hey listen i know this lady's good friend is anasuya so you go to her kitty party speak to her and udhar se vasta lagao get her to this thing go meet her so what did what happened all the devat devas came there to meet anasuya and requested hey mata we need your help otherwise the world's going to dogs so basis their request what anasuya did anasuya went and she she basically made this 10 days 10 nights with the permission of her friend she lies between the two and the devata said if it has been said by mandavya rishi that after 10 nights he will die he will die but we will bring him back to life because this ashwini brothers are here they can bring they have done many times like this before they can bring them back to life don't worry so you just see to it that this is now already gone on for too long you know whole world is hungry there is no sun so can you please do something so anasuya said okay i am seeing that you have suffered she is also agreed so what she did see that woman had put the day and night in pause she shrunk the whole thing so that it all becomes in one night the 10 10 10 days and nights of time is just run through in that time and suddenly the, the rishi passes on then he gets his life back and then every the world sprouts back to life so that's the strength of anasuya a great personality um so all of this you know who's telling this atri rishi is explaining this to rama about the glories of his wife here's a young couple who have come say if a young couple are going to you know a young husband is going to praise in front of everybody his wife and say oh she is such a great personality my wife bhaiya iska to chhad gaya something is really wrong with him he just got married he changed so quickly that is not a very uh, very interesting thing to see generally but the fact that one has to appreciate true prowess and true true goodness true capability uh, is coming out uh, in this particular thing Uh, it also shows well, why did i say we we with something to do with the valentines this is true valentine they been married for possibly a hundred if not thousands of years and the kind of affection they have for each other the kind of relationship that they have with each other here the rishi happily appreciating glorifying his wife uh, in front of uh, uh, rama it's not that there are there's a huge list of things that have been given for atri that he did this he did that 
But on Anasuya's list, there's a big, uh, big list of items. And then the Chandrayana. Now the question is, what is this Chandrayana? Chandrayana is an observation which is very linked to the Chandra's movement. So at one point in time, which is uh, on the full moon, they will take 15 handfuls of food. That's all for a day, 15 handfuls of food. When the full moon, after the full moon, the moon is coming down, yes? The next day, 14, 13, 12, ta, 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 down to zero. This is the fast of Chandrayana that they fast. Religious is not Regulated by the moon's age. Daily quantity consists of 15 mouthfuls at this full moon. It's diminished by one mouthful every day during the uh, dark fortnight till it is reduced to zero at the next moon. Yes, this is increased in a likely manner. And then when, when, when it starts reversing, no moon, no food. Oh, no moon, bad days. And then one, one handful, two handfuls moving on to the full moon. Uh, this, is, this is supposed to be a great austerity that one can perform. So Hare Krishna, I, I wasn't really encouraging. Uh, for us, Ekadasi, not eating uh, alu ka banaya hua pizza is a big austerity. Not eating mungfali and sabudana and samu rice and cake baked in rajgiri and uh, you know endless austerities. If we can just leave that and follow fruits for that day or uh, there are many devotees who are uh, who do nirjal or sajal uh, that is a big austerity for Kali Yuga for us um, if somebody really uh, interested in following Chandrayana Jai Ho, we'll all offer pranams to you it should be wonderful um, many times we are complacent with ourselves uh, and therefore we don't do enough um, okay the next and then Sarvabhutanam Namaskaryam. All the living entities of the world are offering pranams to this Anasuya. Why? Uh, because she's done so many great things in the 10 years of the austerities. She's not only doing, uh, you know, for what she did in the 10 years of drought. She's not only doing for herself and her austerities, but she's doing for everybody in the world. She has performed a thousand year long tapasya. Uh, and what is her situation? Vridhanam. Akrodhanam Sadaha. She's very old and she never gets angry with anybody. If only I was a person like this, I'm thinking, oh, how many friends would I have? I would truly become Nirvairi. I'll never have an enemy if, 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 if only I could control my anger in my entirety. Can you imagine what a person that would be? And there have been, there have been, um, uh, even amongst us, we see there are many devotees who are always like chilled out. You can never see them angry. Huh? We should actually offer obeisances to such people when we see them the next time. Yes, I know uh, there is one devotee in the uh, in one of our uh, in, uh, you know uh, labor camps earlier, but now he lives outside somewhere. Uh, his name, why not glorify? Him? His name is Bhagavat Prabhu. Hmm. And whoever lives with him says the man never wants so many inconveniences he will take up for others but nobody has ever seen him once angry in literally 15 years isn't that a great achievement don't we have to acknowledge show gratitude to people like this so whenever I see that devotee that the first thing I do is I offer obeisances to him he's such a dear person we also have the good fortune of getting a little more closer to him for, for a little time um so, uh, Vridhanam Akrodha Akrodhanam Sada. Okay, that, that's another. Anasuya Yeti Yaloke Karma Bihi Kyatim Agata Kyatim Vikyat Shabd Prayogota and in Hindi we say Vikyat is very famous, very well known. 
कर्म भी हर एक्टिविटीज अनसुति या लोके this loke because of the kind of activity she has done she is very well known uh, by that name uh, she is called anasuya now there is also an explanation of the word anasuya uh, uh, this uh, i don't know in many of our languages we may be using in tamil specifically the brahmanical they say avulga suye kedaadu you know she 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 is not she has no jealousy about anybody and that's a wonderful quality if somebody is not jealous or oh, somebody is getting a promotion somebody is doing well is not jealous at all is happy for the others yes um happy about uh, things that are happening good with the life of others that's a great quality yes and that person is never an enemy to anybody everybody sees that person as a friend because she, she he or she rejoices uh, with us that's such a wonderful quality there so she always had no asuvia for anybody but the bigger part of it if they also explain the reverse of it nobody had anasuya for her asuya for her so anasuya means one with whom you can uh, about whom you can never be jealous why you will not be jealous this lady has done so much she is so famous she she is all over the social media everybody knows her ha huh? so why you will not be jealous of her yeah everybody will be jealous of uh, anasuya but say you know i am living in a place there are many other people in the, in the same flats who are living some of them very well to do so i may, i may feel oh look at his car his house is so beautiful see how nice we may feel that jealousy but anybody will feel jealous about the the you know the the, the biggest king who owns everything bill gates is such a big guy there is no point in being jealous about him because we irrespective of what you can never nap tol kabhi ho hi nahi sakta you can't reach him at a, uh, under any circumstance yes so there is no point in being jealous of that person because he is nowhere near you there is simply no scope to get there it's just way out there true outlier on the other side of the game so that way the greatness of anasuya was such that unfathomable unreachable there is no no you know nobody who will even get a conciliation prize anywhere near her for being the great person that she is therefore unenviable by anybody and therefore anasuya is is another name that is being given to her hmm? so all this anasuya glorification is happening and then uh, atri is saying hey rama please ask sita to go and get some association of anasuya so rama looks at sita and he says uh, please and then atri is also instructing anasuya he says please can you take care of sita so here are the two ladies coming together now you know the ladies coming together it's a, it's a very interesting thing because for the men we can never understand what's happening there it's a, it's, a, it's a very special exchange so one lady is you know anasuya is a very old lady i i don't know how many of us would have actually seen people that old uh, today because we re- rarely get to see uh, because people are, uh, are possibly dying much 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 earlier very rarely we see very 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 old people uh, and you will see the explanation that is there and here is a you know like a fresh flower a new blossom sita so two complete extremes on the gamut and they are coming together so here is the great 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 grandmother uh, who is receiving the great 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 granddaughter uh so she says come please so they she takes her along and they are uh, uh, having some time together and that's what i called kitty party uh, so now there is a description of how she looked till now we looked at uh, what were her great capabilities shitilam balitam vriddam jara pandura murdajam shitilam ha shitila bahut shitil sthiti mein hai means it's a very feeble weak situation almost going to crumble shitilam 
Valita, Valita means, you know, now I'm getting all wrinkles. So all, the skin is completely wrinkled. You know, every part of the skin is, is got folds. It's like the person's body shrunk and the skin still <laughs> keeping its old size kind of thing. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, hanging, uh, uh, you have a little dewlap that you start to develop. Valitam, uh, Vriddam, Jara Pandura Murdhajam. Pandura, Pandu is white. When it goes white, Pandu was like vitiligo. Yes? <laughs> so when the hair goes white, Murdha, Murdhajam has gone white. All her hair, flowing white hair. A beautiful, happy, great tapasvi glowing by her austerity and her chastity and what she has performed such a historic person a great achiever uh, worth all the uh, every ratna bharat ratna every ratna uh, uh, the great great achiever uh, even brahma would give her uh, uh, those uh, wonderful accolades that kind of a person who is very feeble uh, and how is she uh, listen to the next one Satatam Vegama Satatam Vepamanangim Satatam Vepamanangim How Vepamana is always her, her body is shaking. How is it shaking? Look at the beautiful uh, explanation that is given uh, here by Valmiki. Mm. Pravate Vata is wind. Pravate Prakrishna Rupena Vataha. A very strong wind when it comes. Pravate Kadali Yatha. When you see a strong wind coming, you will see the banana tree. Sometimes it's very heavy, the banana tree will fall. But when there is a strong wind, people have seen. So the word Kadali, if you go to the south, there are many, many varieties. So one variety of banana, they call it Kadali Palam. And that word is constantly used even in all the pujas. Kadali palam chamaha nevedyam nivedayami. So Kadali is banana. So just as the banana tree, you know, it doesn't have the kind of roots and, and branches to balance itself off kind of thing. Yeah. So when the banana tree, the wind blows, the banana tree moves like this. So here is an old lady who even as she walks, she's 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 moving front and back um such an old person yeah, anybody here ever met somebody like this very old wrinkled uh, all uh, shaky not being able to balance but very cheerful and happy anybody any elders who have lived very long in the family that you could share hare krishna prabhu hare go Ravi. Yes, yes, Prabhu. Please speak up. Yeah, yeah. I am I attend uh, one regular weekly uh, Zoom sessions with one gentleman called Professor Ayer, uh -huh. who teaches every uh, teaches us about mudras. So he wrote uh -huh. a book on mudras and how mudras have been sustaining him. He is 92 plus, but he looks 60. Wow. And yeah, he started doing this mudras thing for the last 20 years and he just wants to, I mean, this, he believes that it's a science that can prolong human life and it's it, it's a remedy for every malady, he says. And he's, Lord, he's written a book, I will share that book with you. I got a copy of it and it doesn't, it is not for what you call commercial sale, it's just for people who want, he actually prints it and gives it. Jai. So this gentleman wow. is 92 plus and he's very, very agile and he uses Zoom, you know, to reach out to a few people who want to listen to him. I mean, wow. I'll send you the link also sometime in the next Zoom call. We'll catch up. We'll catch up. Hare Krishna. Up. Very nice. Hare Krishna. So these elderly people um, who, have, who have lived very purpose-driven lives, uh, who have been able to contribute to people uh, and... Uh, because of the purity of their lives, just just going near them, being with them is, is such a, a wonderful experience for us. So then what did Sita do? Anybody else? Any comments? 
with regard to the elders, very, very old people, all wrinkled up, shaky, full, fully white haired. Hmm. Today, many of us may be blessed with that at a very early age, uh, but in those days, we truly, we didn't, we didn't have the hair dyes to hide them away, or we didn't have the hair dyes which actually make it white. I know many, many of the people who, who start to dye their hair, and that's it, their hair dyes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's no scope to live without a hair dye after that. So, next, what does Sita do? Abhivadhyacha. Baddanjalim Puta. Ah, Sachi Janani Mataji's grandmother. Okay, interesting. Uh, so what does Sita do when she goes there? She's first doing Abhivadya. She does pranams to her. And Baddanjalim Puta with her hands um, um, cupped in, in Namaste Mudra. Uh, oh, oh, um, she's proceeding towards her. And what is she asking? Sometimes... You know, in the, in the process of theorization, we say, you know, what is this? You don't need to inquire, how is your health? We don't need to inquire these things. But this is all over the space. Rama is asking uh, Shabari uh, when he meets. There are many things he asks. He asks general health, but he also asks spiritual health. But here, when Sita is going and meeting um, uh, uh, Anasuya, she's, uh, she's saying, Parya Prachad, she is asking about what? Anamayam, Amayam, which is that shloka? Sarvamaya Vinashanaya, Trilokyanataya, Shri Mahavishnave, E Namaha. Sarvamaya Vinashanaya, this is the shloka for Dhanvantari. So Amaya means, Amaya is a substance that accumulates in the body, um, which basically brings, out, brings about ill health because of bad living. That's why if you see uh, in our traditional systems, they will always see to it that you are uh, uh, you are regularly taking a purgative on a regular periodicity, vamana, virechana, so many different ways, or uh, even they have leeches by which which can suck the blood so that the blood can get rejuvenated. There's so many things by which the body needs to be cleansed, bahya and antara, um, which the Ayurveda and many of our traditional systems. Uh, very much recommend uh, even in other systems in Islam uh, I think what's that name I'm, uh, bloodletting mm, there is something called hijam. hijam thank you for that yeah so even even they do that and then sometimes it's, it's putting putting a cupping along with the with the with the hijam uh, or others do cupping and then uh, uh, this thing so these are ways by which one needs to uh, so Amaya is that dravya uh, uh, which accumulates in the body because of uh, 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 inappropriate living? A uh, Prabhu, only prasadam Prabhu, no problem. One more spoon, please eat. When you are not hungry, you are not supposed to be eating. There is no point in just filling in. I, I put on so much weight in the last uh, month thanks to hosting and when you specifically have guests and you have to work with them, it's like, you know, impossible to manage. And I'm not able to control my tongue. That's the other side of it. I'm not able to say that. Oh, doesn't happen. So, this apraprachad anamaya means amaya is disease state. Anamaya is, I hope, she's asking to say, I hope, you, you know, your health is good and you're doing well. Then this is a good standard question to ask. Huh? So, why they he offered her obeisances unto the irreproachable ascetic lady with her palms joined in supplication, happily inquiring about her health. Then, Drishta, Drishtya, Dharmam, Avekshase. And what is Anasuya telling her? I am so happy to see that you are so fortunate that you are observing your Dharma so attentively, so beautifully. Yes, upon seeing Sita, Anasuya is welcoming her by saying that I'm so happy to see you. Uh, you're such a young one, but you're actually following your dharma so nicely. So then, uh, she's counting the sacrifices that Sita has made. Many times we don't. Yes? Uh, we don't count the sacrifices our parents have made for us. We don't count the sacrifices the wives make for the husband. 
we don't count the sacrifices the husbands are making for their wives yes from a familial perspective there's so much discord that comes about because we we are not capable of counting those things which is very important to count those but here listen to what and my request to all the husbands at least when we when we see this remember this and see see what you can put in place there's a wife section that's coming up later this whole thing is also our stri dharma so it's a lot of learning for the ladies um and for the men also so what is she saying beautiful sita by good fortune you you have given up your friends false ego uh prosperity to follow rama who's confined in the forest he is stuck to the forest why are you stuck in the forest you were not asked to go to the forest at all tyatva nyati janam you left all your people site manam oh i am you know what janaka's daughter why oh, you take me to the forest is there a palanquin there are you building a palace there for me in the forest manam riddhim uh, that you have given up uh, all of these uh, your prosperity your your ego your friends you've given all of these things chabha mini oh most beautiful one you've given up all these things for your husband this is a big sacrifice that you've done so here is an elderly lady appreciating a young girl for what she has done then she is saying please understand nagaraste vanaste va shubho va yadi va shubham whether you are in the forest or whether you are in the city it does not matter shubho va yadi va shubham whether your husband is favorable to you or not it does not matter if he is favorable it is more tolerable the life is more pleasurable things are things are happy if he is unfavorable what to do doesn't mean we just pack our bags and walk off these relationships vice versa holds good yes um i i I've, i've seen some people uh, in my own family where the wife has been ailing for what 35 years and the man is there to support and 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 take care of her incessantly uh, without batting an eyelid doing everything it's a, it's a big thing it's a huge sacrifice to do you can imagine what is what is the life of that person has to circulate around the disease of the other person yes so whether you are living in the uh, forest or whether you are living in the city it doesn't matter whether it is your husband is favorable to you or not favorable to you it doesn't matter by your own strength tasam loka mahodaya you have already become entitled to the greatest uh, heights uh, to to the heavenly and the spiritual world simply because of what you have done by your own he he is not supporting you now there there is even one next level we'll hear that the most prosperous worlds are destined for a woman who is devoted to their husband irrespective of whether he city in the city in the forest favorable to her unfavorable to her and sometimes dushila kamavritto va dushila very very negative actions sinful a uh, problematic kama vrittoba always inclined towards sexuality or fulfilling his own desires dhanairva parivarjita parivarjita ha uh, he is completely varjita ha he doesn't have anything no dhanam no good qualities no nothing for a woman uh, of a worshipable satvic nature whether their husband their husband is their supreme deity and if he is even if he is of bad behavior lusty in be, be, or devoid of wealth uh one who is of satvic nature she is there is this charita uh, story of a sadhu 
the vritti of a sadhu is to show mercy and kindness so there is the story of one sadhu who sees a, a scorpion stuck in a, a, on a in, in water so he is trying to pick that scorpion up with a leaf trying to pick it up and put it on the shore to show mercy when he is doing the scorpion biting him so who out of pain is throwing it back there goes back to pick it up again again this is happening to show that he is not ready to so that then somebody came to him and asked him are you nuts this damn scorpion is biting you who asked you to save it let it go die you know so then he says you are you able to see one thing scorpion's nature uh, is to cause harm and he's sticking to his nature he is not letting go of his nature why should i let go of my nature of showing karuna he continues to retain his nature i will continue to retain my nature in a, that's the kind of expectation this may look like a very high expectation from a kali yuga perspective because if there isn't reciprocation uh, this isn't going to happen in today's parlance it's going to be very very difficult uh, we can we can talk about this uh, we can then we can also say uh okay guru is supposed to be a very elevated person and he is amanina manadena akirtaniya sadahari he is this he is that so whatever wrong a disciple does he just has to tolerate he has to be this thing will that happen just as if we, if we expect women to be uh, tolerant and constantly accommodating so when it comes to this particular day and age um the standards on all of these things are down and re- under it is reciprocal right, it becomes difficult that in that reciprocal in that uh, reciprocity you can have a distinction somebody may not be able to do as much the other is trying to do something is doing much more that can be bridged one is completely incorrigible it becomes a very very difficult thing unless that person is an angel whether it's a man or a woman it's very very difficult to put up with that kind of an arrangement so um then the next verse this is a very beautiful verse and this is truly a valentines verse huh? this is truly valentines verse i am going to speak separately on this thing and post something on this न अतो विशिष्टं पश्यामि आई डोंट सी एनीबॉडी एल्स मोर सूटेबल आई डोंट सी एनीबॉडी एल्स सो प्रोनाउंस्ड सो परफेक्ट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर पोजीशन ओ व्हाट पोजीशन आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट अनसुया भांडवान विमृष्यन्ति अहम् बांधवान ए फ्रेंड i don't see a better friend uh, after all the due analysis i have done whatever i have seen uh, i have not i don't see a better friend than that person who is that person sarvatra yogyam vai dehi under all circumstances when i see he is the one who fits who is this tapakritam eva eva vyayam i'll read the full meaning here it is being referred to the husband she says after so many years of my life what do i realize i realize that there can be no better friend to me than my husband he is somebody uh, he like tapakritam eva avyayam i have done austerity i have done such an austerity that the the tap never closes the result of that austerity is constantly coming that kind of austerity is my husband yes because from the time i have married him he is constantly here to protect me to guide me to be with me to be that bandava that friend with me i have said this multiple times saka sapta pata baba this is the first mantra when they walk together the husband and wife that we are friends and that's a very very important thing and she is beautifully summarizing the same point here that he is my best friend i have seen and he is like like that big tapasya i did i don't know when he's he just like flowing incessantly 
to support me, to help me, to protect me. By day he, while in deliberation, I did not find a better friend than my husband, who is capable of taking care, protecting me under all circumstances, like the result of inexhaustible austerity. It's a beautiful verse. It's a beautiful verse. I read the verse again, just so that. Na ato vishishtam pasyami. I don't see anybody else who will fit this or anybody as special as this. Pandavan vimrishyanti aham. After all the vimarsan, vimarsanam in Tamil, after all discussion and analysis, I don't see anything uh, anywhere close to this. Sarvatra yogyam. Under all circumstances, this is the most uh, appropriate comparison to do. Tapa kritam ivavyayam. Just as I have done some tapasya, it has no end to its results. Uh, he is he's so wonderful with me. So you see how Anasuvia is being appreciated by Atri. And you see here how Atri is being appreciated uh, by Anasuvia. That's true uh, uh, spirit uh, between a man and a woman. That's very, very, very important. Natu. Okay. The next. Kama Vaktavya Hridaya Bhartra Natas Charantiya Kama Vaktavya Hridaya But on the other hand, there are some people uh, this, uh, this particular verse seems to be translated in two ways. Kama Vaktavya means Vakta means speaker. Somebody who speaks Jo Manme Aaye about the husband, you speak whatever you want. Kama Vaktavya Hridaya Bhartra Natas Charantiyaha and there are some people wandering around speaking whatever they want to speak about their husband uh, without having any any control over him. But jaise man jo ichcha kare, wo bol diya usne. No control. On the other hand, the, if you we say Kama Vaktavya means one who is actually afflicted by lust. And in that particular state, they wander around not giving the necessary respect or giving the priority to that relationship. So evil women whose hearts are overwhelmed with lusty desires who wander about lording over their husbands who do not understand what is piety and what is impiety uh, in this manner. That is what's being talked about. The next one here. Uh, akarya Vashama Panna Striyo. So what happens? There are some of these people who are under uh, the influence of uh, uh, these activities. They attain infamy. Their price credits are getting destroyed. Uh, they don't understand this. So, uh, then, Striya, Swarge Charishyanti, Yata Dharma, Kritastatha. He says, these ladies who are just doing, who are sticking to their husband and doing seva for them, um, are, are keeping that stability in the family uh, element by doing that particular activity. What happens to them? They yata dharma krita tata. How those who have done the greatest dharma, the man who's, who's done this yagnya, that yagnya, whatever he did, the big tapasya, whatever he did, what he got by that and what well-being he got by that. The same thing this lady is going to get. Uh, and, and that is being... I remember a few days ago, I watched one other video. It's a discussion. The woman's asking a priest of another Abrahamic religion. She's asking him, you're talking about all the men uh, going to Swarga and enjoying with, uh, with, the, uh, with the heavenly women. Uh -huh. What happens to the women? Uh, that is being sort of referred to here to say, that it's not that she is getting anything less. Yes, she is getting the best. Uh, the, this thing. It's not necessary that you have to be in a woman's body or a man's body. That's a different discussion altogether. So, women like you who are endowed with auspicious qualities and who are aware of superior and inferior persons wander in heavens uh, like those who have enjoyed with the greatest pious rituals. So, they get the fala uh, because... They are doing service, they are enabling. Yes, just like uh, a servant of a great master, he also gets a part of his, his benefit. Yes, the wife also gets a part of the great benefit. 
if you are part of a great kingdom and you are part of the whole uh, system and you are also contributing it to it in whichever way based your locus standing when you contribute you also get that uh, benefit from that so that's the point that's being made here that first the point is even if that guy is useless still you are going to get the the same benefit so you, you this is this segment is specifically is talking about stri dharma and the greatness of stri dharma and if they do that that's their greatest uh, plus there then the final this particular sentence is very interesting because it can be given as a blessing to young couples bhava swabartuhu saha dharma charini bhava means you become swabartuhu to your husband saha dharma charini the one who traverses on the path of dharma with him who wants who one who does all the activities of dharma one who does all the activities whether it is for the pitras whether it is for the rishis whether it is for the devas whether it is for one's own spiritual upliftment when when you're doing all these when you participate bhava swabartuhu saha dharma charini may you become like that this is a blessing from uh, uh, atri uh, i'm sorry anasuya uh, to uh, sita literally and then she says by doing that what are you going to get yashascha dharmascha dharmamcha tata sama ap sama ap sesi sama ap sesi yashascha dharmascha may you get the same the the fame that anasuya has got as being the greatest sati uh, and dharmamcha uh, may may all the good benefits of following this dharma of tri dharma come to you become a companion in following the dharma of your husband and then you will attain fame and all pious credits with this anasuya blessing anasuya completes this particular chapter and i didn't think i'll go for this long i told you we may be an 8:30 close today but uh, i think i took the opportunity to elaborate on a couple of things one was this discussion on water water conservation zone and then we spoke about husband wife relationships and various other things um, so we are done with this particular chapter we begin with chapter 118 chapter 119 we are done with ayodhya kanda so we have two more sessions before we close so my request is uh, the last chapter that we have we will have a physical session and we will also see to it that uh, we are able to arrange a, a big event because uh, i think i'm i'm very fortunate uh, for rama for having enabled rama and sita ram lakshman hanuman valmiki for having enabled this uh, for all of our gurus uh, who by their kindness and their blessings and my elders uh, and my uh, uh, you know my, my relatives and family who have encouraged me and enabled me to do this i'm very thankful to all of them i'm praying to lord rama that we continue doing in the same spirit ahead uh, we have completed something like 27 28% of uh, valmiki ramayan now which is a big uh, this thing i'm i'm very thankful for that so i think this is worthy of celebration because in 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 the coming session we are going to have sita talk about a very interesting how she met rama and all of that the two ladies are having a very interesting discussion there between themselves so it's a little mini sita kalyana uh, that comes up there so we'll plan that out for the next week let's be ready for that uh, and then we will take possibly a couple of weeks off before we do like a summary study for balakanda and a summary study for ayodhya kanda which we have done now over the last three and a half four years um, hari krishna thank you very much thank you for giving me this opportunity any questions comments anybody any elders here who want to contribute to something any corrections oh uh, prabhu uh, i had a question uh prabhu you mentioned that anusuya was able to like uh, change time uh, like change time of the day or night but like as we know krishna's time right and krishna is uncontrollable uncontrollable so how does that work krishna says he is in the control of his devotees no 
Krishna controlled his time for uh, the Pandavas. So this is this will not happen without Krishna. It's not that she she is standing up against Krishna to to put this in place. Uh, uh, so as a as a person. Uh, who works under the system of the Lord. When you are a pious person, when, when you are doing such wonderful credits, you are not going against the Lord. You can never, that's not your spirit. If you are standing up against the Lord, that's a different thing. When you are with the Lord, he is going to enable that also. Kalo Hamasri Jagat, I am Kala of this Jagat. Uh, Krishna is, uh, you can say Krishna is not untro- uncontrollable, but that's a, that's a perspective. How is Krishna perceived? it's one Krishna. And he's walking into Mathura. This verse from the Bhagavatam describes how that same Krishna is being looked at by different people in different ways. Malla Anama Shanihi. The wrestlers who were there looked at him as lightning who was going to hit them like the thunderbolt and the speed of lightning. Yeah, when you see Messi playing football, you see the guy yeah. dribble through some fellow's legs, you know. Because that's the speed he was able to perceive it and go through it. Like that Krishna... That's how Krishna is able to pull through the legs of the wrestlers. So, Mallana Mashanihi, Nridam Naravaraha. People, the normal people are thinking, oh, he's Naravara, he's a king. Mrityu Bojapate Kamsa is looking at him as death. People who are uneducated. Mataji, you need to mic off. I think that's Sharda's mother. Can the admin manage that? So Virat Avidusham, the people who are, you know, Avidusha, unread, they think he's Virat. Oh, he's a great guy. Vrishni Nam Paradevati. Yes? Um, uh, the Vrishnis are looking at him as, as uh, the Supreme Lord. Uh, Rangam Gataha Sagas, when Krishna is entering. In a similar manner, there are different of us who li- relate to Krishna in a different way. Krishna is uncontrollable uh, for, uh, for those who don't come under his control. But for his devotees, he says, Aham Bhakta Paradino, his, he, Aswatantra, Ivadvija, Aham Bhakta Paradino. I am completely on the, under the control of my devotee. He asks Swatantra Ivadvija as if I don't have Swatantrata at all. So, from that perspective, Anasuya says something, Krishna will fulfill. Hare Krishna. I hope that answers your question, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Maybe they mic'd off everybody. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Anybody else? Any questions, comments? We have three minutes above the session time. Anybody? There's one Jai. in the chat. Yes, Mataji. There's one on the chat. There's one on the chat. I'm sorry, didn't notice. I'm... When the rules and regulations are reduced a lot in Kali Yuga in terms of Bhakti as compared to the previous Yugas in Kali Yuga, it's easy to reach Krishna by chanting Hare Krishna sincerely. Then why Sri Dharma remains the same throughout all Yugas? Well, 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 good question. Um, this needs a separate discussion <laughs> altogether. Purusha Dharma didn't change also. You chant Hare Krishna, still there is instructions on the fact that you have to follow Satya. Still there is instruction that you have to actually do the Kriyas for your uh, 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 forefathers and so many things. It's not that things have changed. Uh, uh, all that is mentioned as Dharma is meant to be followed by the Purusha. All that is meant as three, as three Dharma is just one wafer in that whole thing. So men are, you know, it's not that men are absolved of all this thing simply because they are chanting Hare Krishna. 
it, it you know in current day parlance think look things look a little different uh, whether what is the what is the strict context of three dharma the strict context of three dharma you're not supposed to even look at a man you're not supposed to sit and watch a movie looking at some khan dancing there yes now that's the other end of uh, three dharma spectrum so if you're really talking about whether three dharma remains the same in kali yuga that you have to consider that comment because three dharma um, is not practically viable in that kind of a zone uh, in kali yuga because the, the because of the kind of interactions that we have to uh, have with people the kind of exposure that we have so of course sri dharma has changed in 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 many ways but if we have a problem with sri dharma we need to discuss that in another class uh, let's discuss this in detail uh, let's let's talk about what is our main problem uh, with with sri dharma why do we think that purusha is is, is, is scot free from the dharma uh, expectations that are there it's just that there isn't a separate segment called purusha dharma ultimately every every single other instruction is actually meant for the men to follow so blame them for all the things that they don't follow you have many many things that you don't follow for sri there are this particular one segment alone is mentioned specifically as sri dharma that they 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 abide by go with support and enable their husband this this particular thing is there there are loads of things that men men should do also question them for that it doesn't matter Uh, Hare Krishna. Any other comments, questions? Hari Bo. Hare Krishna. Everybody, quickly mic on. Sorry, we are five minutes, seven minutes late today. Uh, mic on so that we will thank Jai Gosha and wrap up. Everybody together. Sita Ram Lakshman Hanuman Ji. Jai. 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 J